interesting feature of this design is that the PTFE is trapped only in the hand end and the tubes pass on the same side of the central pivot, which means that when the wrist flexes, those tubes move up and down inside their guides. This is not quite a Bowden system. The key difference here is that the compressional loads are not carried by the outer tubes as they are in, say, a bicycle brake cable. Instead, the force of the fingers will also assist the strength of the wrist. There are three possibilities for how to set up the wrist. Above on both sides, as here. Below on both sides, which would kind of produce the opposite effect. And one above and one below, which will minimise the effect of wrist flexion on the position of the servos that drive the long tendons through the centre of the wrist joint.